Mary, what about Tunbridge Park Run? We've already done that. Mm. Mary. Yeah. Lullingstone. Too hilly. Uh, Maidstone. Nah, I don't fancy it. How about Perth? Okay then. Okay, so maybe we're not exclusively here to run a park run. Actually, my sister Laura and her husband G moved here six years ago, and although she's been back home and we all met up in Bali, it's time for us to get over and see them, and my niece and nephew. In fact, I've never met him before. So we've been out and about to the park in Perth with amazing views of the city, local parks splashing around in the water, coffee and cakes, obviously, and wandering around the towns like Guildford with these amazing knick-knack style retro imaginariums that make you feel like a kid again. But now we're at the main event. We're going park run Mount Helena, I'm reliably told. Just waiting for Mary and then we're off. Alright, let's set the scene here. We're on our warm up. We don't really know the route. We don't really know much, to be honest. We don't even know in which direction we're starting. Mary's like, I might just run it easy. I'm thinking the same. We've got lots of battles going on in our heads already, really, haven't we? Yeah. Keep coming. Okay. But what I do know is we'll just give it, I'm going to give it everything, like we're going to enjoy it, have a nice time. At the end of the day, we're running a park run in Australia, yeah, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to say while I'm out there uh, because it is going to hurt. 5Ks hurt. They hurt more than 10K, so we'll see where we're at. It's a lovely day for it. So I've been procrastinating all day about how to finish this vlog because that run kind of blew me out a bit and it's really, really hot over here. I mean, I don't know if you're following the news right now, but some parts of the country are 46 degrees and it just takes away a little bit of your energy. So I think what I'm going to do is sum the park run experience up, which was amazing, by the way. I'm going to sum it up tomorrow morning when I go for my hour run and I'll take you down the trails and yeah we'll do it that way it's tiring thinking about stuff right tomorrow morning it is <sighs> right we're going to the heritage trail railway reserve or whatever that's called but it's a lovely run
this is an absolute pleasure for us. Obviously being the middle of winter back in the UK, we get to come out here and do that and that kind of nicely links me back to the park run yesterday, which was just so nice. Um, it was a lovely day. It wasn't too hot and it was on red track like But more than that, it was, as we've found with every park run um, that we've ever done, a real sense of community, wasn't there? Oh, it's just so friendly. So friendly. The people were so nice. And they've come from all over to do it as well. And it just, I don't know, it's what park run's all about for us. So we might try and find another one in Sydney, might we? Yeah. Now we're on the lookout for kangaroos. So I'm going to lay down a challenge to you and that is if you've never been to a park run in the next three weeks I want you to get out and get to one, find one. If you have been to park runs but you've only gone to the one, your, your usual and your local, my challenge to you is get out and find a different one, meet a different group of friendly people giving up their time to help others and lastly if there's no park run near you or you're in a country that doesn't do park runs, what about being that first person that sorts one out, that creates one? The feeling of giving back to others will be like nothing else. And believe me, I've done it. I created a national triathlon for kids a few years ago, and it's one of the most rewarding things I've ever done. So there's my challenge to you in three parts, depending on your situation, just get out there and enjoy it because it is an amazing event and an amazing sense of community. Right, I'm gonna finish this run off. I'll see you next week.